I sat there and I began to type this into my phone. Holy Spirit says, you got to pay attention to the words. Four years ago, sitting in New Mexico to level systems of evil. Systems. Systems. Supernatural reversals to hell attacks will now be seen. Supernatural reversals to hell's attack will be seen. Supernatural reversals to demon action against my church will be seen. My angels are riding the winds and they're pulling the ropes of change. I will turn the tide for my people. I will turn the battle. I will turn the war. I will turn the nation. I am overturning the injustice. I am overwhelming Leviathan, the lying spirit, twisted spirit. That word, I believe, is now in a very accelerated time or moment. Whether it's the complete thing or not, I don't know. I'll just say what God says because I don't know what else to say. But I know this, a line was crossed and this word is accelerating into this nation and angels are like fire tornadoes going forth, ripping the covers. What happens when the tornado comes? The lid comes off of things. Roofs come off of things. Things are exposed. Those twisting fire angels fueled by the decrees of the saints, the ecclesia, are blowing the lid off things. Leviathan, God said Leviathan will be overruled. One more dream came to mind early Friday morning. I haven't thought of this dream in a long time. In this dream, I saw a large division of angels with silver colored breastplates and silver helmets on. So I knew truth, freedom, uh, or redemption was involved in what these angels were doing because silver represents in the scriptures, it represents redeeming truth or silver represents purchasing someone's freedom from slavery. Uh, like in the Bible days, 50 shekels of silver was used to purchase a male slave. 30 pieces of silver was used to purchase a female slave or 30 pieces of silver was used to purchase a bride back then. By the way, that's why Judas, that's why Judas was paid 30 pieces of silver for Jesus. Jesus wasn't, he wasn't purchasing his own freedom, but he was being sold out. Why? With 30 pieces of silver. Why? To purchase the freedom of slaves in bondage and to purchase the freedoms of his bride. Mm. Now, so I saw these, these angels, mighty angels, a division of them, silver breastplate and silver helmet. Now, these angels were throwing something uh, towards certain cities, certain nations, Regions and especially many of these angels were throwing things in this, this whatever it was, into Washington, D.C., against what looked to me like power stations, like electric plants or gas plants. They were throwing the, these things at the, these cities, this, these regions, these nations. And I knew this. These were evil places because there was a gray shadow like clouds surrounding 
these areas. Almost like each one was in a, was in a, like a gray dark cloud. You, they were in it. And the angels were th throwing something at them that would cause freedom or redemption from, from bondage. And in this dream, I, I kept trying to figure out what in the world are they throwing? What are they throwing? And I was wondering, are they, are they throwing like grenades? Are they throwing bombs? Are they throwing missiles? I could tell it was, it was not arrows or spears like I would naturally maybe think they would shoot or, or fire off, but couldn't figure out what in the world they're throwing. And I woke up from this dream not knowing what these angels were up to. And so that morning I just kept praying, praying in the Holy Spirit and asking, Holy Spirit, what, what were they throwing? What are they throwing, Holy Spirit? What are those angels doing? What are they releasing? And after a while, Holy Spirit spoke a very clear word to me that began to just resonate in my spirit. I mean, it was so defining. And it wasn't anything that I was even remotely thinking about. I said, Holy Spirit, what are these, all these angels throwing in these places? And he said, boomerangs. You will be moving shortly into days of boomerang. And then a prophetic, another prophetic word was downloaded to me. Boomerang is releasing upon strategies of darkness by my angels as my ecclesia has requested. Plots will boomerang. Evil plans will boomerang. Schemes of dark governments will boomerang. Battle plans will boomerang. Power systems, there's the word system again. He's been talking to me about systems for four years. Power systems generating reinforcements of sin to destroy my will will experience the boomerang of their own proposed destruction. Plans of destruction will certainly come back upon them. Freedom from bondage will manifest. The, king the king's redemption is activated. He will liberate his bride. For no, says the Lord of hosts, angels in alignment with order declarations of the king's ecclesia. Angels in alignment with order declarations of the king's ecclesia are activating boomerangs. Boomerangs to evil plans in nations, governments, regions, and cities. Divine reversals, hear it, to systems of darkness will be seen. Systems. Systems. Reversals of power. Reversals of influence. Reversals of authority will be seen. Arrogant leaders anointed by hell will experience my supernatural reversals. Dictators anointed by hell will see their empires reversing. Politicians anointed by hell will see their plans reversing. Billionaires anointed by hell to finance iniquity will experience humiliating reversals to wealth. This was four years ago. You're hearing a lot about the billionaire, uh, billionaires that are funding evil. The Lord of hosts says iniquity, um, those, the billionaires anointed by hell to finance iniquity will experience humiliating reversals. Your evil will boomerang to you. 
Those who organize, again, systems of evil to oppose me will experience boomerang. Boomerang is, a, is proclaimed upon media propaganda systems. Your reversal is planned. Boomerang is declared against humanist education systems. Your reversal is planned. Now this is four years before we saw how bad the education system was. Before the gay agenda was so evident. Your reversal is planned. Your reversal is planned. Your reversal is planned. Boomerang is declared against lawless ideologies and your underground systems. Mm. Your reversal is planned. You, you will see visibly public displays of undeniable reversals. My heirs will rejoice as what was meant for my people's harm turns for good. I can, I have, and I will stand with you. I can, I have, and I will cause my ecclesia to prevail. I can, I have, I will anoint history makers. I can, I have, I will anoint new leaders. I can, I have, I will change history. I can, I have, I will pour out my spirit and shake hell. I can release anointings of boomerang on nations, cities, and governments. And I have released anointing for boomerang on government systems, systems of evil. Government systems of evil. Hell will not stop it. Wow. Holy Spirit knows what he's doing. He knows why he's told us to declare things hundreds of times. He knows why he called us to prayer times. And he knew how to call us to a fast just when he needed to. I've heard many times the past three days now, the jokestus system convicting President Trump will be reversed on appeal. So many are saying that. Many scholars, constitutional scholars are saying, well, it's going to be reversed on appeal. I don't know how many times I've heard it. It'll be reversed on appeal. And I couldn't help but think that is why the appeal to heaven flag is back in the news. You think Holy Spirit doesn't know what he's doing? Because one of the highest judges in the land, the Supreme Court Justice, Justice Alito's wife, flew the appeal to heaven flag from their home. 